Hello, everybody. Tonight at ABC News, I am Sammy Bonetti here with uh, Charles Lindbergh as a special guest. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing good myself. Thank you for having me. We just have a few questions for you tonight about your history and things that you've done. First one would be, so before you were famous, what other jobs did you do in the air? Well, before I was a pilot for the U.S. Postal Service in Hedditsburg, so I flew uh, mail back from Chicago to St. Louis and back. It was okay. It's, it's pretty amazing. How much did mail cost to send in the late 20s and 30s? Um, it cost around five cents for a stamp. So it's dirt cheap compared to today's prices. Definitely. That's very true. So, Mr. Lindbergh, so it says here that you joined the Army in 1924. What did you do? Uh, the Army trained me to be a reserve pilot. It was like when they needed me, I could be a pilot, but they didn't necessarily need me. Mm. All right. It's very interesting. Well, your fan came later when you became the first man to fly across the Atlantic with no stops at all. How did this become to be? Um, well, my hotel uh, landlord was paying $25,000 to be the first, to have the first man fly across the Atlantic. I was like, hey, I can do that. So I did. All right, all right. You must have been scared, just in case something on your plane didn't work or anything like that, or if you went down. So what, I guess, what made you go anyway? Well, when you're at whatsoever a thousand feet, there's a million things that can go wrong. Your engine will go out, a storm will pop up. But with all these bad things that could go wrong, kind of gives you a peace. Mm. So, if you're a good pilot and you're a good man, that's all you can ask for. Can take your word for it. Even so, the trip took 33.5 hours non-stop. What could you have possibly have thought about during this flight? Um, just pay attention to your surroundings and uh, make sure when you're starting to land, um, make sure your landing gear doesn't get stuck. I can see that. Um, yeah, let's hope that that never happens, and I'm sure it won't. So it says here that you weren't in service during World War II, but you were after. What was that? Um, America should have never joined the war in World War II. What Japan did was horrific, but we, we had no need to join the war. All right, I can see. I'll respect your opinions. Anyway, it says that you were an author. Can you give off a few book titles? Uh, well, two names I can think of at the top of my head are A Flight in Life and The Spirit of St. Louis. Alright, I'm pretty sure many people have read those. Well, congratulations. It looks like my superiors are cutting us short. Well, thank you for coming on to the show, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for having me.